Hello everybody and welcome to my tutorial. Everybody loves to do some damage at some point. No? Yes. And in blues piano we usually do damage up here and play something like something that is, you know, like a, a drill into the ears of the listener. Say, here I am and I'm a bloody star. Okay, we have several means for that. Even if you're not advanced, that's the crucial point in this tutorial. Nobody switches off here. Nobody. The beginners not and the more advanced also not. Because it's up to you how to use that and in what density. We are going to examine the basic elements that we can repeat. Repetition is the point, not different notes. That is easy. Uh, that is <laughs> No, that's not easy. That's the hard bit. <laughs> but that we can do just like this. You can call that quite uh, in a prosaic way, way, the machine gun system. Let's have a look. Of course, we have uh, to mention first the one and only, that is, you know, this one. That I will uh, introduce first. You know this one. Like... Or we are all in triplet mode now. Triplet, triplet, triplet. We can do that like very easy. Or or combine them. Or or. So that's the easiest way to cause some damage. You can, if my camera is still on here, is it? Um, here it's even nicer. So, but there are more elements we can combine to make a, a firework that tells everybody I'm the main man here. You just leave. The ladies are all mine. Sorry, ladies, but you're in the minority here. You are at 10% here. Uh, of course, you have my biggest respect, but the majority are, is the testosterone here. Now, we have uh, this, the first machine gun. Then let's have a look at further elements. We have a look at the second element. There are coming several elements. Now we have this one. We're looking at everything that can be repeated in triplet steps. And this is also, this is element number two. Two. It's... You see? Very easy. Very easy. Duck, 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 duck. Remember, we have this the firecracker, we have the third. Yep. Then we use the uh, third element, magic triangle. It's like this one. We can use that in blues piano at many spots, like. And here we go. And we're going to look at this one here. It's the E flat, the A and the C are involved. That's why it's called the magic triangle. It gives, the, it has a beautiful harshness coming from these two fellas here. So, firecracker, thirds, magic triangle. <coughs> now we come to this one, fourth element. Um, have a look at this one. It's the fifth, the minor seventh, we are in C, and the minor third. And here we go, we play the triplets like this. This is a little, a minor shift, because it's, a, it's a, a figure of three on a, a pattern of four. That means da ga da. First time is this one is the one. Second time, this time is the, the first of the triplets, at least, not the one. Yeah. So one, na, na, two, 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 three, 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 four, four, four. Yeah. So that's manageable by everybody, even by my 
turtle which I have here at home, my blues turtle. I play four-handed with that tur turtle and even gig sometimes, it's really great. Now we have, okay. Okay, how shall we call that? Um, let's give it a name too, the bear paw. Okay, this is a bear paw. Because even if you have a bear paw, you can just let your bear paw fall here and shake it. So that's the bear paw. Giving names is nice. It is a nice image and it's easier, um, easier to remember. Also in later tutorials, if I say, play the magic triangle, the people who follow me will know exactly what I mean. Okay, but there's more. Then of course we have the, uh, since Jerry Lee Lewis, we have this one, um, like uh, you can play it with two fingers. He plays it with uh, one finger, uh, but we do the German version toned down. You can also play it with a thumb that or that has the advantage that you have some fingers uh, spare to cause other damage, but I wouldn't know in this case how, so it's the, the trick here is to have the fifth and the sixth simultaneously and the minor third. So we already have a handful of possibilities depending on how many fingers your hand has. Okay, do we have more? Yes, we have also more elements. Uh, I'm already afraid of sticking them together. Okay, because then we have this here. Same as the um, firecracker. It's firecracker too, okay? It's a small firecracker. <laughs> you might get lost. Hey, we're in this together. I'm getting lost myself. So, um, is the firecracker one and firecracker two. They're both powerful in their own right, especially when it comes to the mix. Okay, so these are the elements. I was just about to say the elephants because they're also elephants. They're elephants in blues piano because everybody's using them. They're big. They're big and if you uh, put um, black and white together, what do you get? Gray. And if you play them fast, it becomes all gray. So it's big and gray. If that's an elephant. Ah, oh, do you know this joke? Ah, uh, what's this joke? What is big and gray and doesn't matter? It's irrelevant. That's a good one. Come on, that's a good one. Okay, now let's see how we can combine them to um, to cause a real firework that we want. Now it's getting really interesting now. Hope you haven't fallen asleep when we combine stuff. So let's just try with uh, two or three elements to start with. Let's start with this one. And which of course we have practiced by now a little bit. And um, uh, so that you can combine them seamlessly without having to stop needing a whiskey in between or needing a, a kiss by your beloved. You can just go straight between two elements and we do that. Now, combination of two. There was combination of two in fast. Okay, so lovely. Um, you can, every combination is a lick in its own right and has been played many, many times. It's a really, just don't focus on one thing. It's the diversity that makes your play interesting. Sometimes if it's just, if you just want to hit it, you know, hit the crowd, you, you even can just play this like for a long time. So 
it's really like a like a Lego, you know, Lego. It's for kids and for piano teachers, uh, where you can have the building blocks and you put red and yellow and blue. I think there's no black Lego, right? No, there's no black Lego. Might be a market opportunity. Okay, first one we have here. Now let's let's have another one. Let's have uh, we do. What did I do? We start. And now we grab over and do the triangle, which you by now have in your mindset very much in front. So that's why I'm giving them names and you repeat what we have. Do you still remember the single elements? Do you remember the firecracker? The small firecracker? Remember the magic triangle? You remember the thirds? You remember the bear paw? You got to, while you play, you have them, you must have them at the front, here, at the front of your head. Otherwise, it would, won't come up if you don't have it very much at the, at the front. Like when you speak, you have your typical vocabulary, which is yes, no, maybe, and um, I hate the word, uh, right at the, at the front that you can use the word and call it language and call it a sentence. We are building sentences here. And for now they're quite easy. They are two word sentences. My son is 20 now and he can build four word sentences. And we are now at two or three. So let's go to next one. Yeah. These are three elements now. Okay, you can just write them down for later use or just watch the tutorial again <clears throat> because you hear my, love to hear my voice so much. Let's have a, another one. Let's have, for example, build the, um, what do we have? We have the small, what is it called? The small firecracker, that's right. Nice one. We have the small firecracker opening up to the big firecracker. Bear paw. Triangle. And you can do the same. You know, they, they remind very much already um, of the chains I was teaching you, like, you see, um, but these chains are prefabricated by me, there's just one chain, but here you can build your own chains. And um, since you know on my channel there are only two chains, it's the chain of command, Christian says, you do, and this the change you can build by yourself. And we have a look at the, we didn't use this one now. The thirds. Or also be usable, like. Here we can have two variations, maybe. Or. Oh, that great. Let's have a look at this one. It's great for causing damage. Here. If you're more advanced, if you're not advanced, slow is as great. And not is as great, you know. Um, it's a euphemism. Uh, it's good. It's 
just a different style. And here I was playing something, so you see. Great! So you can either put the axis and that, that, that. so this is a, as a jumping board and to jumping board either or great stuff even for rock and roll piano. I will uh, introduce a little trick to make it shine even more and this is the following. Did you see what I did? One extra note. The small firecrackers and then you hang in in between the F. That's all. It's just one note. So to tie the next thing, the magic triangle. You see, and it's very nice um, for the um, for the uh, um, flexibility of the chain. It becomes tied. The elements becomes tied, and it's also working. Just between the thirds, da 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 da, and you you landing brilliantly on the next element. See, so this is very very important. Don't underestimate it because it's just one note. I'm just one teacher, and I'm changing the world of blues piano. Okay. Let's do a little bit with that. Here was another element I didn't explain to you when we come. You can also just go from this um, uh, sort of uh, in, what's the word? Pretended firecracker and and you do use these two elements, the F and this one to tie. Okay, sorry for that. I will show it to you briefly one more time. magic triangle. In this case, we pl didn't play it like this, but putting the triplet in a different order. In fact, often this is easier than repeating, because this makes your muscles contract and you dig deep in until you're getting all stiff here, and after the next two elements you're done because you don't catch up with the speed, because it's frozen, your hand is frozen, and it's like uh, if you... you know. Because many play... Don't worry, it's just a regular lightsaber from Star, uh, Star Wars, but it can be used here to explain. Imagine it's a piece of wood, and many play like this. Here, can you see? Da, da, da. They forget they have a... They have a wrist here. Ow! Here. And uh, so, but if you use your wrist, you can do longer chains because it's not um, tiring. Your hand's not tiring because you all put, put, put all the muscles in here. And then after the third element, you're getting out of the timing because the, the, the left hand blasts on. It's a very typical mistake. Very typical. like this. Heard it a billion times. So, um, and this means that the shaky shaky movement um, is easier because the shaking motion 
is not freezing your wrist like if you do it like this. Okay, so. Much easier. Okie dokie, let's have a couple of more examples. Well, I, while I I'm doing this, I thought maybe some of you might be interested in sheet music or a MIDI file of this, um, but I don't know. Sometimes I think and I put, I think so, and then I put a lot of work and then nobody wants it. So um, I want five people in comments, like, let me know if you want the, if some are interested in the sheet music. Uh, if that is so, you will find in my comment, in the description of the, um, in the text box under the video, you will see the sentence available as sheet music MIDI file. If nobody is interested, I will not do it, but it might be because it's a very popular thing. Okay, so I want your comments. I want you to, to write, I want, I want the sheet music question. I want the sheet music and then I will react. Okie dokie. Giving you a couple of more examples. Um, let's see. For example, we have this um, burner. Uh, we use the um, Jerry Lee Lewis. That's the, we call this one the Jerry Lee Lewis. We just call it Jerry. It's easier. Okay, we have Jerry. And um, not to be mixed up with the Ben and Jerry's, which you might have in your lap with a big spoon right now. This is just Jerry's. Uh, well, Jerry. Yeah, that's Jerry. Okay. You can play this if your if your uh, wrist is playing, having the same intention as your mind. You can play this, of course, for a long while. You see what's moving here? You see? Here. Yeah. I can play it for a while. Not forever, but I, I wouldn't show you where I'm um, failing, of course. Now... Can continue an F. Lovely. Okay, that's good stuff. Um, then we have. That's a nice figure. <laughs> That's a mini cracker. It's a mini fire cracker. It's just once. Why not? Tying note. And then the magic triangle. Repeating, 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 repeating. It was a bit different, but you get the essence, right? This one, it's a nice element on its on itself. Basically, what I do here is just what you when you're really out for uh, these long licks. That is just the thing to build those that you look for in tutorials. Um, this is this is the the stuff to construct them yourself. This is a gold mine, both basically. Well, my whole channel is a gold mine, but um, so um, like. This element alone is so good. Yeah, 
there's so many things and then you just add you have this F and then you add this one bell paw piece of cracker tie note um, um, B Bermuda triangle and, but, except there's nothing disappearing here and uh, where was I where was I where was I you're confusing me um, Works on F. The only thing that's not working on on F is this one here with the E. You know why? I don't explain. And then you you give it a, the full blast. really nice so also do this exercise keep your wrist moving as I said because otherwise you get stuck in the wood in the forest of the keys so I hope um, I gave you plenty of inspiration for this and now try yourself try yourself a bit a little change after all this is music and music is about creativity and not just about copy and paste why not say like okay you try this one um, you play maybe like a bit slower or you try and then you do uh, whatever and then you could say like small firecracker magic fire anger bear paw big firecracker why not? Bear paw, small firecracker, uh, magic triangle, bear paw, big firecracker. It's all there now for you to enjoy and to play. I hope I could um, stimulate you, motivate you, bring your spirits up and after all this is really good stuff to show off and people just love to show off. I do. I love it. No, but showing off means also, you know, you got to show some, some, uh, some substance in between with these beautiful lines I showed you. You know, you know, do the regular melodious and competent and wise blues. You know, all this showing you have style and taste. And, and, and when it's time, I say bye bye from uh, lockdown Berlin, but your fingers are not, lo not locked down, and that's the best thing of it all. All the best from Berlin. Take care. Bye bye. I just looked again at the video, and I must say, it's a really good video. It's really concentrated and it's full of really appealing stuff. Now, you should be able to um, subscribe, which of course you will do. Uh, or choose another video or please do a donation I have 350 free videos online for you please support me and take care from Berlin I hope you enjoy what I do bye bye